Hello everybody, it's Zachariah. As many of you know, I'm dedicating my running this year, trying for all the officers and firefighters that passed away in line of duty in 2020. And unfortunately tonight, I'm running for Officer Paul Dunn. He worked for the Lakeland Police Department in Florida, and his end of watch was January 9th, 2020. And he passed away after he was thrown off his police motorcycle. He was 50 years old at the time of his passing, and served six years with the Lakeland Police Department, and 12 years with the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Uh, he was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and leaves behind uh, a wife that was a detective for Lakeland uh, that is a detective for Lakeland Police Department and also three adult children. Tonight I'll bring the Blue Line flag, Blue Line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps on the track at my school to see the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I was joined by many Okoe uh, Police Department officers um, because that's one of the departments he worked for before. Um, as well as Sanford PD running with me and the Winter Spring Explorers running with me, as well as uh, a member of the Florida Cops Organization and another, another supporter running with me. I'm also joined by the Orange County Bagpipes and a, member, uh, a retired member of the New York State Police that will be playing tunes along the way. And I'm also joined by the Okoe Police Department, Simmel County Citizen Patrol, um, and Longwood Police Department that will be patrolling throughout the way as well. Before I run, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his family and department to miss our time, and I'll be on my way. For those tuning in tonight, Zachariah running his second mile of the evening. This run tonight in honor of uh, fallen uh, police officer Paul Dunn. He worked for the Lakeland Police Department in Florida, end of watch, January 9th, 2019. Lost his life yesterday following uh, a motorcycle accident. 50 years old, not only served his community, but served his nation as a Marine Corps veteran. Tonight, Zachariah running one mile to honor this fallen hero. We're always so appreciative of the different agencies that come out and support Zechariah every time he runs for one of our fallen heroes. Tonight, running with Zechariah, we have many members of the Okoe Police Department who Officer Dunn used to work for. Also walking with Zechariah is a member of the Lakeland Police Department, the agency that he did work for. We also have a member of the Sanford Police Department, as well as a member of the Winter Springs Explorers, and a member of the Central Florida Concerns of Police Survivors that are walking. Also running, as you saw, is a Coe K-9 uh, Nitro. Patrolling behind Zechariah, we have members of the Okoe Police Department, the Longwood Police Department, as well as members of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Citizens on Patrol, playing pipes. We have a member of the Orange County Sheriff's Office, as well as a retired member of the New York State Police. All, all of them here tonight to honor the life of Officer Dunn. Zechariah finishing his second of seven laps to honor this fallen hero. Every time Zechariah runs, he carries with him a blue line flag that'll be sent to the family of the hero that he's running to honor. This particular flag is actually sponsored by Officer Dunn's unit, the Lakeland Motorcycle Unit. This flag will be, um, instead of sent, because the Lakeland Police Department's just about 45 minutes to an hour away from us, 
We are currently arranging a way for Zechariah to be able to hand deliver this flag, hopefully here in the next week, along with his note. Starting with this next lap, the bagpipes will begin playing. I'll go silent for the rest of the run as we honor the life of this hero, Lakeland Police Officer, as well as U.S. Marine Corps Veteran Officer Paul Dunn. Our thoughts and prayers are with the entire Lakeland Police Department, all of the agencies that he worked for, the Polk County Sheriff's Office, the Coe Police Department, his family, and all those impacted by the loss of this hero.
Is there anything you want to say to the family of Officer Dunn as well as the Lakeland Police Department? I pray Officer Dunn's family and whole department. hard time. This one was in Lakeland, Florida, which really hits home for me. Even though it's not as close to some other cities, it's still very, very close um, to my home city. And I know every single day he sacrificed his life while he was in Lakeland. Six years with Lakeland is a long time, and before that he spent 12 years with Polk County Sheriff's Office. Um, and that's half, I mean, that's, and he was only with half of Lakeland with, when he was with Polk County, which makes 18 years in total. I mean, I think he actually worked for other agencies too, but right now I'm gonna say 18 years in total. Um, and he's spent long years saving us and sacrifice, saving innocent lives uh, from danger. And I'll never forget the sacrifices and dedication he made each and every day to protect my home state of Florida. And I'll never forget him. I know lots of uh, supporters and lots of people that lived very, very close to Officer Dunn and Lloyd Clint uh, are out, including members of ACOE, which I'm pretty sure he worked for for a few years as well. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I want to thank all of them that came out from near Lakeland uh, just to come out and support Officer Dunn. And hopefully tonight, if the family is watching, hopefully tonight with all of these officers and supporters that came out support me and Officer Dunn tonight, you um, heal as much as possible. And I pray once again that even the slightest bit of happiness you had tonight came from me through your hard time. To the family I'll be, of the of Officer Dunn, I'll be sending you this blue line flag, as well as a handwritten note in his honor. On top of that, I want you to know that uh, he was a hero in Florida, and I pray his legacy always lives on. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I pray no more officers or firefighters pass away this year in 2020, and I pray no more pass away in Florida in my home state and I pray every single officer and firefighter gets to their uh, homes every single night or every every single day um, after they're done, they're done with their shifts. Once again, thank you everybody for watching and I pray God blesses you all.